So your poop's black. It's kind of a scary color, isn't it? Was it just something you ate? Well, maybe. Is it something more serious? Well, maybe. Either way though, black is definitely one of the more serious poo colors. So let's cover the facts. The facts of black crap. I'm Austin, and you're watching Azoth University. Maybe it's just because you ate a lot of black or really, really dark food dye. Or black licorice. Blueberries, prunes, chocolate, and excess of iron due to a vitamin. Even Pepto-Bismol, the pinkest of medicines, can make your stool black just because of the way it happens to digest. So, if you ate something like that, then there's nothing really to worry about. All that's really happening is that your body is shoving out all of that food before it can fully digest it, which can be caused by all sorts of reasons that we go over in the previously covered colors. Stress, intolerance, illness, etc. Now, black stool, along with pain, vomiting, or diarrhea, now that's a whole new can of beans. You've found yourself in a crappy situation. The most common thing that causes poo as black as the night is a heavily bleeding ulcer. Which, if you don't know, is just an open wound that fails to heal for an extended period of time. It ain't that great. You may have an ulcer in your esophagus or your stomach, because while blood is red, when it digests and interacts with all of your enzymes and whatnot, it turns black. And yes, that does mean that vampires always have black craps. Makes sense. Stinking goths. And yes, we would know that it's from an upper ulcer, as an ulcer in the intestines leads to red poo, as the blood doesn't interact with your digestive enzymes as much. But now, what could have caused this ulcer? Well, the list is massive, so who knows? Could be cancer. Pray it's not. It could also be liver disease. Varices, which is basically hemorrhoids, but in the esophagus or stomach. Meaning veins that are too big for their own good. Thanks, buddy. Like, I appreciate the fact that you're making veins so my blood can get places and I can live, but like... There's such a thing as too much of a good thing. You could have a stomach infection. Or perhaps you took too many NSAIDs on an empty stomach. Meaning aspirin and ibuprofen, things like that. You take them to help with the pain, and they just do the opposite. Thanks, drugs. Welcome to Big Pharma. It could also be simply that you're burping up too much stomach acid. It's burning away at your throat. Fun fact! Antacids may be the opposite thing you want to do to fix that problem. Long story short, you are burping up stomach acid because overall you aren't acidic enough. There's a little sphincter on the top of the stomach that detects how acidic you are, and if it detects that you're acidic enough, it closes. If you're taking antacids, that's making you even less acidic. The problem is that you're not acidic enough and it's open, so you're burping it up. You're doing the opposite thing you should be. Don't, you just love when human physiology just gets in the way of things being easy for common knowledge knowers to understand. Uh. Could also be gastrites, or gastritis, or inflammation of the stomach lining. So just overall reduce your inflammation and problem should be solved. Best way to do that is to reduce the amount of inflaming foods you eat, meaning sugar and wheat. It rhymes, so it's true. Actually, if you were to put a camera in the stomach with a light, obviously, you could actually see the stomach lining turn red with inflammation upon drinking something sugary. And that's also why you should chill on the sugary drinks. It's just slowly damaging your insides. Nobody needs a sugary drink. Stop kidding yourself. And lastly, it could just be damage. Simple as that. Maybe too much intensive exercise, maybe a car accident. Whatever the case, you just have an interior tear, some internal bleeding in the upper digestive tract. Either way though, if you have black poo more than once in a row, maybe more than twice, go see a doctor. It could be nothing, but it could also very well be something very serious. A non-healing ulcer is bad news and can lead to blood poisoning. Oh no, blood poisoning, that is my one weakness. I needed it to live. And now it's killing me. But again, Good way to tell, black stool plus abdominal pain equals, just go see a doctor now, please. Don't die from poo problems. It has to be the worst way to go. I would know. I have died. I'm a vampire. Darkula. Poo from the deepest, darkest depths. Next time we'll discuss red stool, which can also be scary, but for different reasons. Until then, never stop improving by watching our stuff. <laughs>